Are you ready to master English in a fun and easy way? Whether you're just starting out or you've been learning for a while, there's something here for everyone. In this video, we've got all the secrets to help you become a pro at English learning. From simple grammar hacks to expanding your vocabulary, we've got you covered. Stick around till the end to uncover all the tips and tricks you need to succeed. And if you're a beginner, don't worry. We've got some bonus tips just for you at the end of the video. Let's make English learning an exciting adventure together. Hello, I'm James, an English professor at a university in London, UK. Students often ask me about the problems they face learning English. In this video, I'll share simple ways to improve English skills. We'll discuss the best methods for vocabulary, grammar, speaking, and listening. Join me as we explore how to become better at English together. Let's start. Chapter 1. Introduction to Learning English Learning English is fun and exciting. In this chapter, we'll explore how to start learning English step by step. First, let's understand why learning English is important. English is a global language spoken by millions of people around the world. By learning English, you can communicate with people from different countries and cultures. It can also open up new opportunities for education, travel, and career advancement. Now let's talk about how to get started with learning English. The first thing you need to do is to build your vocabulary. Vocabulary means the words you know and use in English. Start with simple words like hello, goodbye, please, and thank you. These are called basic greetings and are used in everyday conversations. Next, practice saying these words out loud. Pronunciation is important in English, so try to say the words clearly and correctly. You can also listen to how native speakers say these words by watching videos or listening to audio recordings. After you're comfortable with basic greetings, you can move on to learning more words. Start with common objects around you, like book, table, chair, and door. You can also learn words related to food, colors, and numbers. To help you remember new words, make flashcards. Write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Review the flashcards regularly to reinforce your memory. Now let's talk about grammar. Grammar is the structure of sentences in English. It helps you put words together in the right order to make sense. Don't worry if grammar seems confusing at first. Start with simple sentences like, I am happy, or she likes to read. These sentences have a subject, I, she, a verb, am, likes, and an object, happy to read. Practice making your own sentences using different subjects, verbs, and objects. For example, he eats apples, or we play games. This will help you understand how grammar works in English. In addition to vocabulary and grammar, practicing reading and writing is also important. Start by reading simple books or stories in English. Look for books with pictures and short sentences. Try to understand the meaning of the words by looking at the pictures or guessing from the context. When you're reading, pay attention to how words are spelled and how sentences are formed. This will help you improve your reading and writing skills. For writing practice, start with simple sentences about yourself or things you like. For example, my name is underscore underscore underscore, or I like to underscore underscore underscore. You can also write short paragraphs about your daily activities or experiences. Remember, learning English takes time and practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are a natural part of learning, and they can help you improve. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice speaking and listening in English. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be speaking English with confidence. Chapter 2. Reading Simple Texts Reading is a great way to improve your English skills. 
In this chapter, we'll explore how to start reading simple text in English. First, find books, newspapers, or online articles that are written in easy English. Look for materials designed for beginners or children. These texts usually have simple words and sentences that are easier to understand. Start by reading short stories or articles. Choose topics that interest you, such as animals, sports, or hobbies. Reading about things you like will make it more enjoyable and motivating. When you start reading, take your time. Read each word slowly and try to understand its meaning. If you come across a word you don't know, look it up in a dictionary or use an online translator. To help you understand the text better, try to guess the meaning of words from the context. Look at the surrounding words and sentences to figure out what the unknown word might mean. As you read, pay attention to the structure of sentences and how words are used together. Notice how nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs are used to form sentences. After you finish reading a text, summarize what you've read in your own words. This will help you remember the main ideas and key information from the text. To practice reading comprehension, answer questions about the text. Start with simple questions like who, what, where, when, and why. For example, who was the main character or what happened in the story? You can also underline or highlight important information as you read. This will help you focus on key points and remember them later. To improve your reading speed, try to read a little bit every day. Set aside some time to read for at least 15, 30 minutes. The more you practice, the faster you'll become. In addition to books and articles, you can also practice reading signs, labels, and menus in English. Look for English words around you and try to read them out loud. Reading aloud is a great way to improve your pronunciation and fluency. It helps you get used to the sounds of English and how words are pronounced. If you're having trouble understanding a text, don't get discouraged. Take breaks when needed and come back to it later. Learning to read in a new language takes time and patience. To make reading more enjoyable, join a book club or reading group. This will give you a chance to discuss the books you've read with others and share your thoughts and ideas. Remember, the more you read, the better you'll get. Keep practicing and soon you'll be reading English texts with ease and confidence. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice writing in English. Keep up the good work. Chapter 3, Writing Practice. Welcome to Chapter 3. In this chapter, we'll explore the importance of writing practice in learning English and how you can improve your writing skills. First, let's understand why writing practice is important. Writing helps you express your thoughts, ideas, and feelings in English. It also helps you improve your grammar, vocabulary, and spelling. To start practicing writing, you don't need anything fancy. All you need is a pen and paper or a computer or smartphone with a note-taking app. You can also use a notebook or journal to keep track of your writing progress. Begin by writing simple sentences about yourself. Start with basic information like your name, age, and where you're from. For example, my name is James, or I am 40 years old. Next, write about things you like or enjoy doing. For example, I like to play soccer, or I enjoy listening to music. Try to write short sentences and use basic vocabulary. As you become more comfortable with writing, you can start writing short paragraphs. Describe your daily routine or activities you did recently. For example, I wake up at 7 o'clock every morning or yesterday I went to the park with my friends. When writing, pay attention to punctuation and capitalization. Use periods to end sentences and capitalize the first letter of each sentence. 
This will help make your writing clearer and easier to understand. Practice writing different types of sentences, such as statements, questions, and exclamations. For example, it is sunny today, statement, what time is it, question, and I'm so happy, exclamation. To improve your writing skills, try to write every day. Set aside some time, even just 10 or 15 minutes, to write in English. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Don't worry too much about making mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when learning a new language. The important thing is to keep practicing and learning from your mistakes. As you continue to practice writing, you can start writing longer pieces, such as short stories or essays. Choose topics that interest you and write about them in English. This will make writing more enjoyable and motivating. To get feedback on your writing, you can ask a friend, family member, or teacher to read your writing and give you suggestions for improvement. You can also join online writing communities or forums where you can share your writing with others and receive feedback. Another way to practice writing is to keep a diary or journal in English. Write about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences each day. This will help you become more comfortable expressing yourself in English. Remember, writing is a skill that takes time and practice to develop. Be patient with yourself and keep practicing regularly. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice speaking and listening in English. Keep up the good work. Chapter 4, Listening to English. Welcome to Chapter 4. In this chapter, we'll explore the importance of listening practice in learning English and how you can improve your listening skills. Listening is an essential skill in English. It helps you understand spoken English, including conversations, lectures, and presentations. By improving your listening skills, you'll be able to communicate more effectively in English. To start practicing listening, you don't need any special equipment. All you need is a device like a smartphone, computer, or tablet with internet access. You can also use headphones or earphones to listen more clearly. Begin by listening to simple English audio recordings. You can find many resources online, such as podcasts, songs, and audiobooks designed for English learners. Start with recordings that are slow and clear with simple vocabulary and sentences. When listening, focus on understanding the main ideas and key information. Don't worry too much about understanding every word. Try to get the gist of what is being said. To improve your listening skills, listen to a variety of audio materials in English. This will help you get used to different accents, speech patterns, and speaking speeds. Practice listening to different types of English accents, such as American, British, Australian, and Canadian. This will help you understand English speakers from around the world. As you listen, pay attention to how words are pronounced and how they are used in sentences. Notice the intonation and stress patterns in spoken English. This will help you improve your pronunciation and fluency. To make listening more interactive, try to repeat or shadow what you hear. Listen to a sentence or phrase, then pause the recording and try to repeat it aloud. This will help you practice your speaking skills as well. Another way to practice listening is to transcribe what you hear. Listen to a short audio clip and write down what you hear word for word. Then compare your transcription to the original recording to see how accurate you were. To challenge yourself, listen to English media without subtitles. This will help you focus on listening comprehension without relying on visual cues. Start with short clips or videos and gradually increase the length as you improve. You can also watch English movies and TV shows with subtitles to improve your listening skills. 
Start with subtitles in your native language, then switch to English subtitles once you feel more confident. Practice listening to English conversations by finding language exchange partners or joining online chat rooms or forums. This will give you the opportunity to listen to and interact with native English speakers in real time. To track your progress, keep a listening journal. Write down the audio materials you've listened to, the main ideas you understood, and any new vocabulary you learned. Remember, improving your listening skills takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself and keep listening regularly. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice speaking in English. Keep up the good work. Chapter 5, Speaking with Others. Welcome to Chapter 5. In this chapter, we'll explore the importance of speaking practice in learning English and how you can improve your speaking skills. Speaking is a crucial skill in English. It allows you to communicate with others and express your thoughts, ideas, and feelings. By improving your speaking skills, you'll be able to have conversations with confidence in English. To start practicing speaking, find opportunities to speak English with others. This could be with friends, family members, classmates, or language exchange partners. If you don't have anyone to practice with in person, you can also practice speaking online through video calls or voice messages. When speaking, don't worry too much about making mistakes. The important thing is to communicate your message clearly. Focus on getting your point across rather than speaking perfectly. Start with simple conversations about familiar topics. For example, talk about your hobbies, interests, or daily activities. Practice asking and answering questions to keep the conversation going. If you're feeling nervous about speaking English, start by practicing speaking aloud by yourself. Talk to yourself in front of a mirror or record yourself speaking and listen to your pronunciation and intonation. To improve your speaking skills, mimic native speakers. Pay attention to how they pronounce words and phrases, their intonation, and their speaking speed. Try to imitate their pronunciation and rhythm as closely as possible. Practice speaking English every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Set aside some time to practice speaking aloud or have conversations with others in English. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. To expand your vocabulary and improve your speaking fluency, try to think in English as much as possible. Describe objects, events, or feelings in English in your mind. This will help you become more comfortable expressing yourself in English. If you're struggling to find someone to practice speaking with, consider joining an English speaking club or meetup group in your area. These groups often organize events and activities where you can practice speaking English with others in a supportive environment. Another way to practice speaking is to participate in language exchange programs. Find a language partner who is a native English speaker and exchange languages with them. You can practice speaking English with them while helping them practice your native language. To track your progress, record yourself speaking regularly and listen to your recordings. Notice areas where you can improve, such as pronunciation, grammar, or fluency, and work on those areas in your practice. Remember, speaking English fluently takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself and keep practicing regularly. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to expand your vocabulary in English. Keep up the good work. Chapter 6, Using Flashcards. Welcome to Chapter 6. In this chapter, we'll explore how using flashcards can help you improve your English vocabulary and language skills. Flashcards are a simple and effective tool for learning new words and phrases. 
They consist of a word or phrase on one side of the card and its meaning or translation on the other side. Flashcards are portable, convenient, and easy to use, making them a popular choice for language learners. To start using flashcards, you'll need to create your own set of cards. You can use index cards, small pieces of paper, or digital flashcard apps to create your flashcards. Write the word or phrase you want to learn on one side of the card and its meaning or translation on the other side. Start by making flashcards for basic vocabulary words and phrases that you want to learn. Choose words that are relevant to your interests, daily life, or language learning goals. Once you've created your flashcards, review them regularly. Spend a few minutes each day going through your flashcards and testing yourself on the words and phrases. Try to recall the meaning or translation of each word before checking the answer on the other side of the card. To make your flashcard practice more effective, use spaced repetition. This means reviewing the flashcards at increasing intervals over time. Start by reviewing the cards every day then gradually increase the interval to every few days or once a week as you become more familiar with the words. As you review your flashcards, pay attention to the pronunciation of each word. Practice saying the words aloud and pay attention to how they sound. This will help you improve your pronunciation and fluency in English. To make your flashcard practice more engaging, try different techniques such as associating images with the words or using mnemonics to help you remember them. For example, you could draw a picture of the word or create a story that incorporates the word into it. Another way to make your flashcard practice more interactive is to use digital flashcard apps. There are many apps available that allow you to create, organize, and review flashcards on your smartphone or tablet. Some apps even offer features like audio pronunciation and interactive quizzes to help you learn. In addition to vocabulary words, you can also use flashcards to practice grammar rules, idioms, or phrasal verbs. Write the grammar rule or idiom on one side of the card and an example sentence on the other side. This will help you understand how the words or phrases are used in context. To make your flashcard practice more efficient, organize your flashcards into categories or themes. For example, you could have separate sets of flashcards for food, clothing, weather, and so on. This will help you focus on specific areas of vocabulary that you want to learn. To track your progress, keep a record of the words and phrases you've learned using flashcards. You can create a checklist or spreadsheet to keep track of the words you've mastered and the ones you still need to practice. Remember, consistency is key when using flashcards to learn English vocabulary. Review your flashcards regularly and try to incorporate them into your daily routine. With practice and perseverance, you'll soon expand your vocabulary and improve your language skills. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice English using language learning apps and websites. Keep up the good work. Chapter 7, Language Apps and Websites. Welcome to Chapter 7. In this chapter, we'll explore the world of language learning apps and websites and how they can help you improve your English skills. Language apps and websites are convenient tools that you can use anytime anywhere to learn English. They offer a wide range of interactive exercises, games, and resources to help you practice vocabulary, grammar, listening, speaking, and more. To get started, you'll need to download a language learning app or visit a language learning website. There are many options available, so take some time to explore and find the ones that work best for you. Once you've chosen an app or website, create an account and set your language learning goals. This will help you stay motivated and focused as you progress through the lessons and exercises. 
Most language apps and websites offer a variety of features to help you learn English. Here are some common features you may find. Vocabulary exercises. Practice learning new words and phrases with flashcards, matching games, and quizzes. Grammar lessons. Learn English grammar rules and practice using them in sentences and exercises. Listening exercises. Improve your listening skills by listening to audio recordings and answering questions. Speaking exercises. Practice speaking English by recording yourself and comparing your pronunciation to native speakers. Writing exercises. Practice writing English sentences and paragraphs with interactive writing prompts and exercises. Progress tracking. Keep track of your progress and see how far you've come in your language learning journey. To make the most of language apps and websites, try to use them regularly. Set aside some time each day to practice English using the app or website, even if it's just for a few minutes. One of the advantages of language apps and websites is that they offer personalized learning experiences. Many apps use algorithms to adapt the lessons and exercises to your skill level and learning style. This means you can progress at your own pace and focus on areas where you need the most help. Another advantage of language apps and websites is that they often offer social features that allow you to connect with other language learners from around the world. You can join language learning communities, participate in forums and discussions, and even find language exchange partners to practice speaking with. In addition to using language apps and websites on your own, you can also incorporate them into your English classes or study groups. Many teachers use language apps and websites as supplemental materials to reinforce classroom lessons and provide extra practice for students. To get the most out of language apps and websites, try to use a variety of different resources. Don't rely on just one app or website experiment with different ones to see which ones work best for you. Some popular language learning apps and websites include Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, Babbel, Memories, and FluentU. These apps offer a wide range of lessons and exercises for learners of all levels. Remember, language apps and websites are just one tool in your language learning toolbox. They can be a valuable resource for practicing English, but they should be used in conjunction with other methods such as reading, writing, speaking, and listening. In the next chapter, We'll explore the benefits of joining English classes and workshops to receive structured guidance and feedback from experienced teachers. Keep up the good work. Chapter 8. Joining English Classes Welcome to Chapter 8. In this chapter, we'll explore the benefits of joining English classes and workshops to receive structured guidance and feedback from experienced teachers. Joining English classes is a great way to improve your English skills in a structured and supportive environment. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, there are classes available for learners of all levels. One of the main benefits of joining English classes is that you'll have access to experienced teachers who can provide guidance and feedback on your language learning journey. Teachers can help you set goals, track your progress, and provide personalized support to help you improve your English skills. In addition to teachers, joining English classes also gives you the opportunity to interact with other learners from around the world. This can be a great way to practice speaking and listening skills, as well as to make new friends and connections. English classes typically cover a range of topics and skills, including vocabulary, grammar, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Classes may be structured around textbooks, curriculum materials, or thematic units based on real-life situations. When choosing English classes, consider your learning goals, schedule, and budget. There are many options available, 
including in-person classes at language schools or community centers, online classes, and private tutoring sessions. In-person classes offer the benefit of face-to-face -face interaction with teachers and classmates. You'll have the opportunity to ask questions, participate in group activities, and receive immediate feedback on your progress. Online classes are a convenient option for learners who may not have access to in-person classes or who prefer to study from home. Online classes often include live video sessions with teachers, interactive exercises and quizzes, and discussion forums for students to interact with each other. Private tutoring sessions offer personalized one-on-one -on -one instruction tailored to your individual learning needs. Tutors can focus on areas where you need the most help, provide targeted feedback, and help you progress at your own pace. In addition to traditional English classes, there are also workshops and short-term courses available that focus on specific skills or topics. For example, you may find workshops on pronunciation, business English, academic writing, or exam preparation. When joining English classes, it's important to actively participate and engage in the learning process. Take advantage of opportunities to practice speaking and listening, ask questions when you don't understand something, and seek feedback from teachers and classmates. Outside of class, continue practicing English through self-study and immersion activities. Read English books and articles, watch English movies and TV shows, listen to English music and podcasts, and engage in conversations with native speakers whenever possible. Remember, learning English is a journey that takes time and dedication. Be patient with yourself, stay motivated, and celebrate your progress along the way. In the next chapter, we'll explore the benefits of language exchange programs and how you can practice speaking English with native speakers while helping them learn your native language. Keep up the good work. Chapter 9, Language Exchange Programs. Welcome to Chapter 9. In this chapter, we'll explore the benefits of language exchange programs and how you can practice speaking English with native speakers while helping them learn your native language. Language exchange programs are a fantastic way to practice speaking English with native speakers for free. These programs typically involve finding a language partner who is a native English speaker and exchanging languages with them. You help them practice your native language while they help you practice English. One of the main benefits of language exchange programs is that they provide you with the opportunity to practice speaking English in a real life context with native speakers. This can be incredibly valuable for improving your pronunciation, fluency, and confidence in English. To find a language exchange partner, there are several online platforms and websites available where you can connect with other language learners from around the world. Some popular options include HelloTalk, Tandem, Conversation Exchange, and My Language Exchange. When searching for a language exchange partner, consider your language learning goals, interests, and availability. Look for someone who shares similar interests or hobbies as this can make the language exchange more enjoyable and engaging. Once you've found a language exchange partner, you can start practicing speaking English together. Here are some tips to make the most of your language exchange experience. Set clear expectations. Discuss your goals and expectations for the language exchange upfront. This could include how often you'll meet, what topics you'll discuss, and how you'll provide feedback to each other. Be patient and supportive. Learning a new language can be challenging, so be patient and supportive with your language exchange partner. Encourage them to speak English and offer constructive feedback to help them improve. 
Take turns speaking. During your language exchange sessions, take turns speaking in English and your native language. This will give both of you the opportunity to practice speaking and listening. Use a variety of activities. Keep your language exchange sessions interesting by incorporating a variety of activities, such as conversations, role plays, games, and cultural exchanges. Focus on communication. The goal of language exchange is to improve your communication skills. So focus on having meaningful conversations rather than worrying about making mistakes. Practice active listening. Pay attention to what your language exchange partner is saying and ask questions to show that you're interested and engaged in the conversation. Provide feedback. Offer feedback to your language exchange partner on their English speaking skills, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. Be honest but supportive in your feedback. Stay consistent. Consistency is key to making progress in language exchange. Try to meet regularly with your language exchange partner and practice speaking English on a consistent basis. In addition to practicing speaking English with your language exchange partner, you can also take advantage of other resources to supplement your language learning. This could include watching English movies and TV shows, listening to English music and podcasts, reading English books and articles, and taking online courses or classes. Language exchange programs offer a valuable opportunity to practice speaking English with native speakers while helping them learn your native language. By participating in language exchange, you can improve your language skills, make new friends, and gain insight into different cultures around the world. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice listening to English by watching movies and TV shows with subtitles. Keep up the good work, chapter 10, Watching English Movies and TV Shows, Welcome to Chapter 10. In this chapter, we'll explore the benefits of watching English movies and TV shows as a way to practice listening and improve your English skills. Watching English movies and TV shows is, is a fun and effective way to immerse yourself in the language and improve your listening comprehension. It exposes you to authentic English conversations, accents, slang, and cultural references, helping you become more familiar with the language in real-life contexts. To get started, choose movies and TV shows that you enjoy and find interesting. This will make the learning process more enjoyable and motivate you to continue watching and learning. When watching English movies and TV shows, there are a few strategies you can use to make the most of your learning experience. Start with subtitles. If you're not yet confident in your English listening skills, start by watching with subtitles in your native language. This will help you follow along with the dialogue and understand the plot more easily. Gradually switch to English subtitles. As you become more comfortable with listening to English, switch to watching with English subtitles. This will help you associate spoken words with written words and improve your reading and listening skills simultaneously. Pay attention to pronunciation and intonation. Listen carefully to how the actors pronounce words and phrases and pay attention to their intonation and stress patterns. Try to mimic their pronunciation and rhythm as closely as possible. Focus on context. If you come across words or phrases that you don't understand, try to infer their meaning from the context of the scene. Pay attention to body language, facial expressions, and other visual cues that can help you understand what's being said. Take notes. Keep a notebook handy while watching English movies and TV shows and jot down any new words or phrases that you come across. Look up their meanings later and try to use them in your own conversations. Watch with a purpose. 
Instead of just passively watching, set specific learning goals for each viewing session. For example, you could focus on improving your vocabulary, understanding different accents, or learning idiomatic expressions. Discuss what you've watched. After watching a movie or TV show, discuss it with friends, family members, or language partners. Talk about your favorite scenes, characters, and plot twists, and share your thoughts and opinions in English. Repeat and review. Don't be afraid to rewatch movies and TV shows multiple times. Repetition is key to reinforcing your learning and improving your listening skills. Each time you watch, you'll likely pick up on new details and nuances that you missed before. In addition to watching English movies and TV shows, you can also use subtitles to enhance your learning experience. Here are a few tips for using subtitles effectively. Watch with subtitles in English. As mentioned earlier, watching with English subtitles can help you associate spoken words with written words and improve your reading and listening skills simultaneously. Pause and rewind. If you come across a word or phrase that you don't understand, pause the movie or TV show and rewind to listen to it again. You can also use this time to look up the meaning of the word or phrase and add it to your vocabulary list. Use subtitles as a learning tool. Instead of relying solely on subtitles to understand the dialogue, use them as a learning tool to improve your listening comprehension. Try to listen to the dialogue first and then use the subtitles to check your understanding. Gradually reduce reliance on subtitles. As you become more comfortable with listening to English, gradually reduce your reliance on subtitles. Start by watching with subtitles in your native language, then switch to English subtitles and eventually try watching without subtitles altogether. Watching English movies and TV shows with subtitles is a fun and effective way to improve your listening comprehension and expand your vocabulary. By incorporating these strategies into your learning routine, you'll be well on your way to becoming a more confident English speaker. In the next chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice speaking English in everyday life. Keep up the good work. Chapter 11. Practicing English in Everyday Life. Welcome to Chapter 11. In this chapter, we'll explore different ways to practice speaking English in everyday life and incorporate language learning into your daily routine. Practicing English in everyday life is essential for improving your language skills and becoming more fluent and confident in English. Fortunately, there are many opportunities to practice English in your daily activities, whether you're at home, at work, or out in the community. Here are some simple yet effective ways to practice English in everyday life. Talk to yourself. One of the easiest ways to practice speaking English is to talk to yourself in English. Describe your daily activities, thoughts, and feelings out loud as if you were narrating a story. This will help you become more comfortable speaking English and improve your fluency. Label objects. Label objects around your home with their English names. For example, stick a label that says table on your table, chair on your chair, and so on. This will help you associate English words with real-life objects and improve your vocabulary. Think in English. Try to think in English as much as possible throughout the day. Describe things you see, hear, and do in English in your mind. This will help you become more fluent and natural in English and reinforce your language learning. Use English in daily tasks. Incorporate English into your daily tasks and activities. For example, try reading recipes in English while cooking, writing shopping lists in English, or listening to English podcasts while exercising. This will help you practice English in a practical and meaningful way. Engage in small talk. 
Strike up conversations with people you encounter in your daily life, such as neighbors, colleagues, or store clerks. Practice greeting people, asking how they are, and making small talk about the weather, current events, or common interests. Join English-speaking groups. Look for English-speaking groups or clubs in your community or online. Joining these groups will give you the opportunity to practice speaking English with others who share your interest in learning the language. You can also participate in language exchange programs or conversation clubs where you can practice speaking English with native speakers. Watch English news or talk shows. Tune in to English news channels or watch English talk shows to practice listening to and understanding spoken English. Pay attention to the vocabulary, pronunciation, and intonation used by the speakers. You can also watch with subtitles to help you follow along. Read English. Signs and labels. Pay attention to English signs, labels, and advertisements while you're out and about. Try to read them aloud and understand their meanings. This will help you practice reading and expand your vocabulary. Write in English. Practice writing in English by keeping a journal, writing emails, or posting on social media in English. Try to express your thoughts and ideas as clearly and accurately as possible. You can also write short stories, essays, or poems in English to improve your writing skills. Use language learning apps. Take advantage of language learning apps and websites to practice English on the go. Many apps offer interactive exercises, games, and quizzes to help you improve your vocabulary, grammar, listening, and speaking skills. Remember, consistency is key when practicing English in everyday life. Try to incorporate these activities into your daily routine and make language learning a regular part of your life. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become in speaking English. In the next chapter, we'll explore different resources and materials that you can use to continue improving your English skills. Keep up the good work. Chapter 12, Additional Resources for Learning English. Welcome to Chapter 12. In this chapter, we'll explore additional resources and materials that you can use to continue improving your English skills beyond what we've covered so far. Online courses. There are many online courses available that offer structured lessons and exercises to help you learn English. Websites like Coursera, Udemy, and Khan Academy offer a wide range of courses taught by experienced instructors. These courses cover various aspects of English, including grammar, vocabulary, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Language learning. Websites. There are also numerous websites dedicated to language learning that offer free resources and materials for improving your English skills. Websites like BBC, Learning English, ESL Gold, an English club provide grammar lessons, vocabulary exercises, audio recordings, and interactive activities to help you practice English. English language books. Invest in English language books that are suitable for your level of proficiency. Look for books that cover topics you're interested in and include exercises and activities to reinforce your learning. Popular series like English for Everyone and English Grammar in Use offer comprehensive guides to learning English. Language Exchange Apps In addition to language exchange programs mentioned earlier, there are also mobile apps available that connect language learners for virtual language exchange. Apps like HelloTalk, Tandem, and Speaky allow you to find language partners practice speaking English, and receive feedback on your language skills. English Language Podcasts Listen to English Language Podcasts to improve your listening skills 
and expand your vocabulary. There are podcasts available on a wide range of topics, from news and current events to storytelling and entertainment. Some popular English language podcasts include The English We Speak by BBC Learning English and TED Talks Daily, online English tutors. Consider hiring an online English tutor or teacher for personalized instruction and guidance. Many platforms offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions with qualified English teachers who can tailor lessons to your specific learning needs and goals. English language forums. Join online forums and discussion groups dedicated to English language learning. Websites like Reddit and Quora have active communities where you can ask questions, share resources, and engage in discussions with other language learners and native speakers. English language games. Have fun while learning English by playing language learning games and quizzes. Websites like Fun English Games, ESL Games World, and Vocabulary.co.il offer a variety of interactive games and activities to help you practice vocabulary, grammar, and other language skills. English language newspapers and magazines. Read English language newspapers, magazines, and online articles to improve your reading comprehension and expand your vocabulary. Choose topics that interest you and try to read regularly to stay updated on current events and trends. English language YouTube channels. Subscribe to English language YouTube channels for instructional videos, language lessons, and tips on learning English. Channels like Learn English with English Class 101, English with Lucy, and Rachel's English offer a wealth of resources for English language learners. English language tests and exams. Take practice tests and exams to assess your English proficiency and track your progress. Websites like Cambridge English, TOEFL and IELTS offer sample tests and study materials for popular English language exams. Language Immersion Programs Consider participating in a language immersion program where you can fully immerse yourself in the English language and culture. Language immersion programs offer opportunities to study English abroad, attend language schools, and live with native speakers. Remember to choose resources and materials that align with your learning goals, interests, and preferences. Mix and match different resources to create a comprehensive language learning plan that works for you. Stay motivated, be consistent in your practice, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Learning a new language is a journey, and every step counts towards your progress. In the next chapter, we'll recap key takeaways from this guide and provide some final words of encouragement to help you continue on your English learning journey. Keep up the good work. Chapter 13. Conclusion and final words of encouragement. Congratulations on reaching the end of this guide. In this final chapter, we'll recap key takeaways from our discussion and provide some final words of encouragement to inspire you on your English learning journey. Consistency is key. Learning English, like any other skill, requires consistent practice and dedication. Make language learning a regular part of your daily routine and try to practice English in various ways as often as possible. Set realistic goals. Set achievable goals for your language learning journey. Whether it's mastering a specific grammar concept, expanding your vocabulary, or improving your speaking skills, setting realistic goals will help keep you motivated and focused. Use a variety of resources. Take advantage of the many resources and materials available for learning English, including textbooks, online courses, language learning apps, movies, TV shows, podcasts, and more. Experiment with different resources to find what works best for you. Practice speaking regularly. Speaking is an essential skill in language learning, 
So make sure to practice speaking English as much as possible. Engage in conversations with native speakers, participate in language exchange programs, and use everyday opportunities to practice speaking in English. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Making mistakes is a natural part of the language learning process. Don't be afraid to make mistakes when speaking or writing in English. It's how we learn and improve. Embrace your mistakes as opportunities for growth and keep pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Stay motivated and persistent. Learning a new language can be challenging at times, but don't let setbacks discourage you. Stay motivated and persistent. And remember why you started learning English in the first place. Celebrate your progress along the way and keep moving forward towards your goals. Seek support and guidance. Don't hesitate to seek support and guidance from teachers, tutors, language exchange partners, or online communities. Surround yourself with people who can encourage and support you on your language learning journey. Enjoy the process. Language learning should be enjoyable and rewarding. Find ways to make learning English fun and engaging, whether it's through watching movies, listening to music, playing games, or connecting with others who share your passion for language learning. Celebrate your achievements. Take time to celebrate your achievements and milestones as you progress in your English learning. Whether it's mastering a difficult grammar concept, successfully completing a conversation in English, or achieving a higher score on a language proficiency test, every accomplishment is worth celebrating. Never stop learning. Finally, remember that language learning is a lifelong journey. Even when you reach your goals, there's always more to learn and explore. Keep challenging yourself, seeking new opportunities for growth, and never stop striving to improve your English skills. As you continue on your English learning journey, remember that every step you take brings you closer to your goals. Stay committed, stay positive, and keep pushing yourself to reach new heights in your language proficiency. With dedication, persistence, and a positive mindset, you can achieve success in learning English and open up new opportunities for yourself in the future. We wish you the best of luck on your English learning journey. Keep up the good work and remember that we're here to support you every step of the way. If you ever feel discouraged or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Happy Learning, Chapter 14 Frequently Asked Questions About Learning English In this chapter, we'll address some common questions that learners often have about learning English. These questions cover various aspects of the language learning process and can provide helpful insights for those embarking on their English learning journey. How long does it take to learn English? The time it takes to learn English varies depending on factors such as your proficiency level, learning style, and the amount of time you dedicate to studying. While some learners may become proficient in a few months, others may take several years to reach their desired level of fluency. What are the best methods for learning English? There is no one-size-fits-all approach to learning English, as different methods work for different learners. Some effective methods include practicing speaking with native speakers, immersing yourself in English media, using language learning apps, and attending English classes or workshops. How can I improve my English pronunciation? Improving English pronunciation takes practice and patience. One helpful tip is to listen to native speakers and mimic their pronunciation. Pay attention to word stress, intonation, and rhythm. You can also practice speaking aloud, record yourself, and compare your pronunciation to that of native speakers. What are the best ways to expand my English vocabulary? 
There are many ways to expand your English vocabulary, including reading books, articles, and newspapers in English, watching English movies and TV shows, using flashcards to learn new words, and practicing using new vocabulary in context through writing and speaking exercises. How can I overcome my fear of speaking English? Overcoming fear of speaking English takes practice and exposure. Start by speaking English in low-pressure situations, such as with friends or language exchange partners. Gradually increase the difficulty level as you gain confidence. Remember that making mistakes is part of the learning process and embrace opportunities to learn from them. What are some common mistakes to avoid when learning English? Common mistakes to avoid when learning English include neglecting speaking practice, focusing too much on grammar rules without context, relying solely on translation instead of thinking in English, and getting discouraged by setbacks. It's important to stay positive, persistent, and open to learning from your mistakes. How can I stay motivated to learn English? Staying motivated to learn English can be challenging, but setting realistic goals, finding enjoyable ways to practice, tracking your progress, celebrating achievements, and surrounding yourself with supportive peers can help keep you motivated and engaged in your language learning journey. What should I do if I feel stuck in my English learning progress? If you feel stuck in your English learning progress, take a step back and reassess your approach. Consider trying new learning methods, seeking guidance from teachers or language experts, joining language learning communities for support, and setting smaller, achievable goals to regain momentum. Is it necessary to learn English grammar rules? Learning English grammar rules is important for understanding how the language works and improving your communication skills. While you don't need to memorize every grammar rule, having a basic understanding of grammar concepts can help you communicate more effectively and avoid common errors. How can I measure my progress in learning English? You can measure your progress in learning English by assessing your language skills in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. This can be done through self-assessment, taking language proficiency tests, tracking your performance in language learning apps, and seeking feedback from teachers or language partners. These are just a few of the many questions that learners may have about learning English. Remember that language learning is a personal journey, and it's okay to have questions and seek guidance along the way. Keep exploring, keep practicing, and keep striving to improve your English skills. Chapter 15, English Learning Tips for Beginners. In this final chapter, we'll provide some practical tips specifically tailored to beginners who are just starting their journey of learning English. These tips are designed to help beginners build a strong foundation in the language and develop essential skills for communication. Start with the basics. Begin by learning basic English vocabulary such as common words and phrases used in everyday situations. Focus on essential topics like greetings, numbers, colors, family members, food, and activities. Practice speaking aloud. Practice speaking English aloud, even if it's just to yourself. This will help you become more comfortable with forming English sounds and words. Start by repeating simple sentences and gradually work your way up to longer phrases and conversations. Listen to English every day. Listen to English as much as possible to improve your listening skills and become familiar with the sounds of the language. This could include listening to English songs, watching English cartoons or children's shows, or listening to English podcasts or audiobooks. Use flashcards for vocabulary. Use flashcards to learn new English vocabulary. 
write the English word on one side of the flashcard and the translation or definition on the other side. Review your flashcards regularly to reinforce your learning. Learn basic grammar. Start learning basic English grammar rules such as verb tenses, sentence structure, and word order. Focus on simple grammar concepts at first and gradually build upon them as you become more advanced. Practice reading. Simple texts. Start reading simple texts in English, such as children's books, graded readers, or beginner level articles. Look for texts with illustrations or context clues to help you understand the meaning of unfamiliar words. Write every day. Practice writing in English every day, even if it's just a few sentences. Keep a journal, write short stories, or create shopping lists in English. This will help you improve your spelling, grammar, and vocabulary. Immerse yourself in English. Surround yourself with English as much as possible to immerse yourself in the language. Change the language settings on your phone or computer to English, listen to English radio stations or podcasts, and label objects around your home with their English names. Use language learning apps. Take advantage of language learning apps and websites designed for beginners. Apps like Duolingo, Babbel, and Rosetta Stone offer interactive lessons and exercises to help you learn English in a fun and engaging way. Practice with a language partner. Find a language partner or study buddy who is also learning English. Practice speaking and listening to English together. Ask each other questions and provide feedback to help each other improve. Set achievable goals. Set achievable goals for your English learning journey. Start with small, manageable goals and gradually increase the difficulty as you progress. Celebrate your achievements along the way to stay motivated. Be patient and persistent. Learning a new language takes time and effort, so be patient with yourself and stay persistent. Don't get discouraged by setbacks or mistakes. Instead, use them as opportunities to learn and grow. Seek support and guidance. Don't hesitate to seek support and guidance from teachers, tutors, or online communities. Ask questions, share your progress, and connect with others who are also learning English. Have fun with learning. Most importantly, have fun with learning English. Find ways to make learning enjoyable and engaging, whether it's through games, songs, movies, or conversations with friends. The more fun you have, the more motivated you'll be to continue learning. By following these tips and staying dedicated to your English learning journey, you'll be well on your way to becoming proficient in the language. Remember to practice regularly, stay positive, and never be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Good luck and enjoy the process of learning English.